70 years ago today, the Auschwitz concentration camp was liberated by Soviet soldiers. The Nazis had been carrying out systematic genocide. Six million Jews died during the Second World War, and by the time the troops reached Auschwitz, just a few thousand prisoners remained. Even now, some of those survivors are still trying to track down their loved ones. Jonathan Josephs has a one-man story. 74-year-old Menachem Bodner is a Holocaust survivor who now lives in Israel. As a three-year-old Hungarian Jew, he was taken to the Auschwitz concentration camp. There, more than a million people perished, but he survived. Along with his twin, he was subjected to medical experiments. Prompted by family, he recently started trying to find out what happened to the brother he last saw days before liberation. I did not know who I was. I did not have a single clue. I did not know my name. I only had a number. When I was young, I was afraid to even start looking because I did not know what I would find. He now knows he was born in 1940 with the name Elias Gottesman. And thanks to newly discovered cousins in California, he can even treasure a picture of the parents who gave it to him. Now I found the family from the side of my mother. I'm very glad of this. And at most, I have the picture of my father and my mother. Menachem's story is an increasingly rare success from the brutality of the camps. As the number of Holocaust survivors falls, so do the requests to search for those they were parted from. The International Tracing Service in Germany, which holds some of the most important archives, now receives less than 400 requests a year. The hardest part in the whole thing, if I look at the whole thing, I think that the hardest part was escorting the psychological process that Menachem was going through. Around the world, memorials like this in London's Hyde Park provide some sense of closure and remembrance when it comes to the six million victims murdered by the Nazis. But many survivors are still haunted by the desperate sense of not knowing exactly what happened to the loved ones whose fate they never learned. The Nazis' meticulous record keeping means there is still the hope that comes with the handful of successful reunions that still happen every year. But as time goes on, the slim chances fade further. Menachem has benefited from an online campaign and the efforts of a tenacious genealogist. Nonetheless, he knows the chances of finding out exactly what happened to his twin brother, Jano, are slim. Jonathan Josephs, BBC News. Menachem Bodner was one of many twins subjected to medical experiments at Auschwitz under the supervision of the infamous Dr Mengele. There's more on this story in a special edition of Newsnight this weekend on BBC World News. Uh, the times you can see are on your screen when that is being screened.